Hello there, I'm John Hall and we're right here at Penns and today we're going to have a look at the Lamy Emporium. Um, it has three different finishes, so there's this one which is titanium, this is black and black, very black, and this is black and gold. Now, you don't want to look at me, you want to see the pens, so we're going to move down to the table. Right then, so the Lamy Emporium comes with four writing systems. Uh, the fountain pen, which we're going to look at today, it also comes as a rollable, a ballpoint, and a pencil. Um, very impressive pencil, but we shall, we, shall, we shall talk about that a little bit more in another video. Um, the fountain pen was designed by Mario Bellini, um, who's collaborated with Lamy on several occasions over the years. But the collaboration that I'd like to mention particularly um, was his design for a fountain pen called the Persona, which came out in 1990. Now, um, very nice pen, well remembered. Unfortunately it discontinued many years ago. Um, I do recall it. We did have one in stock when I took over this shop 15 years ago and we sold it probably for less than we should have done. But the interesting thing about the Persona was the fairly radical design which in many ways is reflected in the Emporium. And what I'd like to draw your attention to is the cap, which is entirely plain, the clip, it's a good useful clip this, which will cope with very very thick material on whatever you're putting it into, the fluting, reminiscent of um, Greek classical architecture, so it looks a bit like a Doric column. I haven't counted the flutes to see whether there are 20, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are. But the other thing that's particularly noticeable um, is sort of a reflection of the flutes. So you have a series of grooves running round the pen in a sort of horizontal way on the section where you grip it. I've got to say they're very, very comfortable. There's uh, no rough edges there at all, so it's, 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 it's a very nice feeling pen. Now, the other thing to notice, I suppose, is, well, it's got a slightly different nib. There we go, and I hope you're able to see that. I've gone a little bit closer. So it's very similar to the basic Lamy Gold nib, but the main difference is that, as you can see, it doesn't have a breather hole. It uses Lamy's foolproof feeder system which you will get in any Lamy pen and it's so good why change it it's, it's pretty much foolproof so there we go now the other thing that you notice about this pen when you pick it up is its weight it's a fairly heavy fountain pen uh, total weight with the cap on is 46 grams and it's about 34 grams with the cap off. You can post it. And it's a very, very good and secure post. Um, personally, I'm not sure I would actually. It's quite enough pen in there for me. Um, I don't have small hands. They're not particularly big, but I think I'd probably only be interested in posting if uh, my hands were a little bit larger than they are. Now, as with all Lamy's apart from the 2000, this is a cartridge converter pen. So we'll just have a quick look on the insides. The converter isn't inside it, but it does come with a converter, of course. At that price, you'd expect it to. Oh, it does come with the converter inside. Oh, well, there we go. What a surprise. So there's the converter. And also, looking in the barrel, I mean, you can just see it's, it's a very tidily put together piece of work. And has a degree of solidity that um, 
well, is very reassuring. Now I just want to say a little bit about the two other finishes. So, here we go, just polish that up. The end is gold, as is the clip on the black and gold version. And the black and black version features a very black and shiny clip and a black base. And again, a little polish. There we go. Now the other thing that you might just have noticed as I sneak this off is that on both of the black models the nib is a different colour. Instead of being rhodium with the gold insert, and incidentally the whole nib is, I understand, gold. It's not a sliver of gold inside the nib. It's by colour, so they've actually used, in this case, um, PVD coating on the nib to give it this very attractive and striking black appearance, black and gold appearance. So a beautiful looking pen. And I think probably what we ought to do now is just have a quick little write with a couple of them and see how it feels. OK then, we're going to have a look at two different nibs. This one says it's extra fine. Here we are. So I'll just dip it. Now, the first thing that leaps out about this is that it's extremely smooth for an extra fine nib. Extremely smooth. A little bit of nib noise there, and obviously the paper is Lamy test paper, so it's going to flatter the nib a bit. And there is noise, but it really is marvellously smooth. Weighing on it a little bit. Ah, do you, yes, you do actually get a little bit of line variation. So there's a little bit of softness there, um, which might be surprising for a Lamy nib. And we're going to take a look now at this one, which is broad. Now the other nib sizes that are available are fine and medium. This one's broad, we'll just have a quick look at it. And there are two oblique nibs for those of you that like that sort of thing. Lamy is one of the few manufacturers to continue to make oblique nibs, which for people who rotate the pen, so if they don't hold it quite square onto the, onto the paper, um, Gives a much more effective sweet spot for them so the nib will, will feel smoother and also it will give uh, an interesting degree of line variation. So let's see what we've got here. So this is the Lamy Emporium. Well it's a good broad line, there's no doubt of that at all. Let's see what happens if we lean on it just a little bit. Well, as you can see there, there is certainly a degree of line variation. So this nib has a little bit of softness to it, as you'd hope to get with a gold nib. And I think you certainly do get here. A future video might well be looking at comparison between this Lamy Gold nib and other Lamy Gold nibs. But for the time being, well, it's the Emporium, it's a striking design, it's a heavy pen, I like it, and I hope you do too. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much.